All right, yo, 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 what's up? Keith here, let's talk about lateral lunge. We're gonna get into some frontal plane of motion movement side to side. Lateral lunge, I'm stepping into my lunge position. I'm thinking of sitting back into this glute. All my weight is here, I drive back up. Seeing this from the side, I step straight out I'm loading into this quad, into this glute. You can see I'm just sitting back into my hip. Notice my spine angle. It stays nice and fixed or straight. You hear me talk about that quite a bit. I'm stepping into this side. As I step into this side, notice this leg straight. I like to try to keep these toes pointing straight ahead as opposed to having that foot cranked way out at an angle. So for those of you who are really experienced here, you might want to grab some load and I step into it right back up. So as I come back to this top position, back to the start, I'm firing through this foot that's in the ground back to the top. This weight here is going to try to pull me forward. Remember, with my core stability and control, I am in charge of where my spine is. If you don't have dumbbells, but you still want to add some weight, you can have one dumbbell, you can grab your ruck plate. I have a little bit of a load here, I'm right back up. You get the idea, we're going to do repetitions on one side, then we'll do the same on the other side. Points of performance, I want to sit back into this glute and I want to keep my spine in a good position. I want to return back to the start, full hip extension, back into that top position. Movement counts, make it efficient, make it right. You're never gonna out-train the fundamentals. Let's go.